Hyundai's ICCU Nightmare. What every EV owner needs to know. Hey, EV lovers. Welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to place for everything electric on four wheels. If you're new here, you're missing out on the hottest EV updates, deep dives, and real talk discussions. So don't make the rookie mistake. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. And to our loyal subscribers, you're the real MVPs. We see your support, and we appreciate you more than words can say. Now let's buckle up because this ride is about to get intense. Hyundai's ICCU Crisis, the shocking reality behind stranded EVs. Lately, EV forums and subreddits have been flooded with frustrated Hyundai and Kia owners venting about one terrifying problem an ICCU failure that's leaving their cars completely bricked. Imagine cruising down the highway, and suddenly, your EV throws a power-limited warning on the dash. At first, you think, eh, maybe it's just a glitch. But then the car starts losing power. Before you know it, you're coasting to a dead stop, stranded, and calling for a tow truck. This isn't some isolated issue. It's happening across Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis electric models that run on the eGMP platform including the wildly popular Ionic 5, Ionic 6, Kia EV6, and Genesis GV60. And while Hyundai has issued recalls and software updates, some owners are reporting that even after getting their cars fixed, their ICCU failed again. So, what's actually going on here? Is there a real solution to this problem? Or is Hyundai just buying time with temporary fixes? Let's break it down. What is the ICCU and why is it so important? ICCU stands for Integrated Charging Control Unit. It's the EV equivalent of a power manager responsible for DC fast charging and AC home charging, keeping the 12V battery charge, which powers everything from your car's lights to the computers that run it. Vehicle to load V2L power export, allowing you to run appliances, tools, or even power your house in an emergency. Sounds like a genius piece of engineering, right? Well, until it fails. How does an ICCU failure happen? The biggest issue with the ICCU is that it controls the 12V battery charging process. If that part of the system fails, your low voltage battery stops charging, and when that dies, so does your car. Even though the massive high voltage battery pack still has juice, the car becomes an expensive brick because it needs a 12V system to run. According to Hyundai's own recall report, there are two major causes of ICCU failure. One, voltage spikes. When the ICCU starts and stops charging the 12V battery, sudden voltage spikes occur. These overload the delicate electronics inside the ICCU. 2. Excessive heat. The ICCU generates a lot of heat when the car is charging or driving. Over time, this wears down a key transistor inside the unit, eventually blowing a fuse that powers the 12V system. Once that fuse is gone, game over. How widespread is this issue? Hyundai has already issued two major recalls in the U.S. to address ICCU failures, with the most recent one happening in November. According to documents from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, a total of 145,351 EVs are affected in the U.S., including 2023-2025 Genesis G80, 2022-2024 Hyundai Ioniq 5, 2023-2025 Genesis GV70. 2023 to 2025 Genesis GV60, 2023 to 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 6, 2022 to 2024 Kia EV6, 62,872 vehicles affected. That's over 200,000 EVs worldwide that could potentially suffer an ICCU failure. The fix? Does it really work? So what's Hyundai's solution? Well, according to their service bulletin, the first step is to scan the vehicle for Diagnostic Trouble Code, DDC, P189096. If the code is not present, the ICCU gets a software update and you're sent on your way. If the code IS present, the ICCU is replaced along with the fuse, even if it hasn't blown yet. The coolant is also flushed and replaced with a low-conductivity version. The software update tweaks how the ICCU charges a 12V battery, softening the voltage spikes and adjusting the cooling system to prevent overheating. But is that enough? Owners are still facing ICCU failures after the recall. Some EV owners who had their ICCUs replaced and updated are now dealing with a second failure. Reddit user BeyondTheTech shared their experience. Second ICCU failure. First one was replaced seven months ago. This time, at least I wasn't on vacation when it happened. Another Ionic 5 owner wrote, Taking my car in tomorrow, but it looks like I have a second ICCU failure. First one was June 2024. 600 miles from home. Less than a year later, it's happened again. 
nightmare. For some, the repair process takes months. A frustrated Hyundai owner, Danky13, vented. I've been waiting five months for them to replace my ICCU. Five months. My Ionic 5 has spent more time in the shop than on the road. And Hyundai's official response? Get the recall work done. That's a tough pill to swallow if you've already been stranded once. Or worse, twice. Is Hyundai downplaying problem? Hyundai claims that only 1% of affected vehicles will actually suffer an ICCU failure. That sounds small, but with 200,000 cars involved, that's still 2,000 dead EVs. And based on the number of online complaints, some owners suspect the real failure rate is much higher. We reached out to Hyundai to ask how many ICCUs have failed after the recall update, but so far, no response. The best data available still comes from Nitsa, which insists that the majority of vehicles should be fine. But should be fine isn't exactly reassuring when your car could randomly die on a highway. Final thoughts. Should you be worried? If you own a Hyundai Ioniq 5, Ioniq 6, Kia EV6, or Genesis EV, take the recall seriously. Get your ICCU checked. And if you notice any strange power warnings, get to Service Center ASAP. That said, it's clear Hyundai still has work to do. A fix shouldn't fail twice. And if ICCUs continue to break down, they'll need a more permanent solution. But what do you think? Have you experienced an ICCU failure? Do you trust Hyundai's fix? Or do you think this issue is far from over? Drop a comment below and share your thoughts. And if you made it this far, thank you. You're what keeps EVpedia going. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and share this video with other EV owners. It could save them from a costly and frustrating breakdown. Stay charged, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next one.